Hey all my name is Merit. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing our TBR game where I let a random letter generator pick my TBR. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen this kind of video before, I will leave a link in the description to my previous videos, but I do this TBR game every single month on my channel. If you're not new here, you already know the rules. Again, timestamps will be in the description as well, so you can skip ahead to the parts that actually interest you. Basic premise of the game is that I'm going to be spinning a wheel that is going to have multiple different letters on it, and whatever the wheel lands on, I have to find a book that corresponds with that. So if I roll the letter A, I can use a book that has any letter in the title that has the letter a as a starting letter if that makes sense let me let me find an example okay lovely found my example so for instance if i got the letter a i could read the lost apothecary because apothecary starts with an a i could also read this if i got the letter l for lost or S for Sarah or P for her last name as well. I believe it's Penner. Now we start with three spins and I can earn more spins if I choose to forego a prompt. So for instance, if I do scroll the letter A, but I decide that I don't wanna read any books with that letter in it, I would just have to add a fourth spin and read a total of four books for my TBR. Or if I land on the challenge space, which are gonna be more difficult letters all grouped together and I choose to not forego that prompt, then I, also would have to add a prompt. However, because it's the challenge space, I would have to add two spins. So instead of three, it would now be five books that would be on my TBR. So we don't wanna skip the challenge letter. <laughs> and at the end of the month, I will recap what I read in the previous month from this game. And if I did not finish all three books or however many books that were on my TBR for the month, then I am on a book blank ban for the following month. So in March, I unfortunately did not finish all of my titles for the previous game, but I am back guys, because I did read all three selections from my last TBR game. I don't even remember what they were. I read Witch is Steeped in Gold. I did vlog my experience on this one. I will link it in the cards if you're interested, but I read this one for reading the lowest rated books on my TBR and um, spoiler alert, did not go well. I also read Crown of Bones, which I recently read for my Easter eggs pick my TBR video that I just did. So again, I'll link it in the cards if you're curious on more of my thoughts on this one, but I did really enjoy Crown of Bones. And the last pick for March was Phoenix Flame, which unfortunately did not go as well as I had hoped either. I think I gave this one two stars. It was just like very disappointing in contrast to book one. So you want to hear my thoughts, I'll link the respective videos that they're featured in you know the drill. Anyways, let's get into the game. All right, let's do spin number one. Okay, our first letter is T. And honestly, this month, I have no idea what I wanna read, so this will be very interesting <laughs> trying to pick things. Let's see what I have on my radar. The first thing that kind of caught my attention was an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green, so T for thing. I'm not sure I wanna read this one yet, but this is one of the oldest books on my TBR, so I definitely think that this one would be really smart to prioritize. However, am I going to make smart decisions is the question. <laughs> I could also pick up Too Hot to Handle by Tessa Bailey. I do love me some Tessa Bailey. Ooh, I do want to read this one too. Okay, we're finding lots of good options. <laughs> the next one on my radar is Just My Type by Fallon Ballard, and this one would be T for Type. I've just heard really good things about this one, and it's not necessarily like high on my priority, but she calls. She calls to me. I feel like I have so many good options to pick from that this is going to be half the video. It's me just trying to figure out what I want to read for the first prompt. I should have came in with more of a game plan, is what I am learning. Oh, you know what? Something less fun, but that like I need to read anyways, is How to Become the Dark Lord and Die Trying. And it's not that it's not fun to read this book, but it's a book that I requested on NetGalley, and I was really excited about it in the moment. And now like that excitement has kind of dwindled, but I do think that I should read this one. So this is what we're gonna pick for the letter T. We're gonna be smart and try and prioritize those NetGalley arcs because this book does come out in May. So I like to read my arcs about a month or so before they actually release. So this is what we're gonna go with. This is about a woman who basically decides that she doesn't like how the Dark Lord does things. So she's going to kill him and replace him. Thoughts to come. <laughs> Let's do spin number two. All right, 
right, our next letter is J, which we were just talking about her. We could use her for this letter too. Let's keep exploring though. This is actually kind of fun to have so much freedom, like not having anything on my radar and just kind of choosing whatever I want. It's overwhelming, but also like knowing that I can just read whatever is great. You know what, why not? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do just my type. I have been kind of eyeing this one for a while and I feel like I haven't been reading that much romance lately. So maybe this is what I need to just kind of fall back into the genre. Um, I have a lot of romance on my shelf, so it'd be great if I was feeling an itch to read one. So we're, we're gonna force ourselves to write. Hopefully we love it. This one is about, I believe two journalists. Let's see, all's fair in love and journalism. After a disastrous breakup with her high school boyfriend, Lana Parker has bounced from long-term relationship to long-term relationship. That is until her high school ex, Seth, takes an assignment at Lana's site. Ooh, okay, so it's second chance romance and it looks like it's also rivals to lovers. Cute. All right, we're, we're getting through this. We're gonna do one more spin. Okay, <laughs> the letter is B and I don't want to cheat and say my current read, but also it would make it really easy, right? Listen, it's like March 28th. Yeah, March 28th. So I have a couple days left in March when I'm filming this and I think that I could finish my current read by then. However, I could also not. So like it'd be really awesome if I just had one of these spinner wheel prompts done at the beginning of the month, wouldn't that be fantastic? So I could do Bride by Allie Hazelwood, but I feel like that's cheating and I shouldn't do it. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna look around and see what else there is. So no, I could cheat, but I'm not going to. Oh, you know what? You know what? I was just thinking to myself, how can I get this on my TBR for the month? And like now I have the perfect opportunity. So we could do this one. This is Mixed Signals, by the way, by BK Borison. Um, Bright Young Woman might also be a good choice. This one's been on my radar for a while and I just read a thriller so now I'm like kind of searching for more. I feel like I go in waves with thrillers, right? So like I feel like I should pick this one up while I'm in the mood and I already have a romance on my TBR. So do I want two? I don't know. Oh, we could do this one too. What do I do? I feel like I've picked this book up in every single TBR game video that I've done and I still haven't had the chance to read it. Chase, which book should I pick? The left. Your left or my left? My left. Okay. I was kind of thinking that too. Hmm. Okay. 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 I hope I don't regret this, but we're gonna go with Mike Signals by BK Borson. I don't think I'm gonna regret it. Like, I'm not gonna regret reading this, but like I said, I haven't been in a much of a romance mood and so putting two romances on my TBR might be a little bit questionable, um, but I am excited about both of these and they have been on my radar for quite some time now, so I I think it'll be okay. Mixed Signals follows who? Who does it follow? It follows Layla and Caleb, and this is the third book in the Love Light Farms series. So I really enjoyed the first book in this series, Love Light Farms, and the second one I did really like as well. And the fourth book in this series is actually coming out just around the corner. So I think this is the perfect time to read this. Each of these books is also like represented by a certain season and I believe this one is summer and I have been craving all things summer and all things hot and just like laying out by the pool. So this will hopefully be a good one to do that with. But this one is about a small town baker who learns to raise her expectations for love with some help from a handsome local teacher in this sunny romantic comedy. So yay, perfect. Okay, so just to recap, the first book that I'm gonna be reading from this TBR list will be How to Dark, How to What? How to Kill the Dark Lord and Die Trying? Is that right? Oh no, it's called How to Become. How to Become the Dark Lord and Die Trying. That's gonna be our first read. And then for our second one, we'll be reading Just My Type. And for the third one, we'll be reading Mixed Signals. Sorry for the terrible video, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you guys liked it, give it a like. Comment down below if you've read any of these titles and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.